what's going on guys welcome back to another video of Game of Thrones Telltale and I am very sorry it, I've been gone a while on this game um, I have just been you know trying to record a lot of videos I'm just now getting the, to you know time to actually edit them so without further ado let's just hop right in and continue alright continue episode one you know, I might just start, start fucking streaming each episode, you know? The next the next episode, I'm going to be streaming it. So, I'm just saying that because... I feel like it, you know? I'm editing a video right now. <laughs> Seven L's. Seven L's, what? What's going on? What the fuck are they doing to that guy, poor guy? Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors oh. wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Oh. He's... <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. You see that guy looking that at me over there? Bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, What am I supposed to be doing? The naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the north. Oh, when it gets red, then start now. doing it. Okay. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Yeah, I heard that shit too. My lord? Shh. Listen. Fuck, they saw. It. They know I'm here. There. They know, they know I'm here. Hear that? Fuck. I hear horses. I know I heard something. Stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. I should have. I shouldn't. Don't run because then they'll see you and then they'll hunt you down or something like that, right? Yeah. I was thinking about running, then I was like, oh, fuck, no. No, it's, it's a bad idea. Then they're just gonna pay the, their, all their attention over to me, you know? The guy's already probably dead. I just bit my tongue, ow. The guy's probably already dead anyways, you know? He, he got his knife, he got a knife to his fucking s s neck or whatever the fuck was. Just getting that dude alive. Watch him just come right at me and just like jump scare. Oh! oh that was more than. That looks like there's. There was more than like two slices. Okay. That that looks like he's been skidding that dude for like fucking days. So we're back here now. Lord with Ethan. Ethan? Yeah, with Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? Yeah. That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. Nice. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. 
He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. Okay. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. All right. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. You hear that, like, squeaking noise? <laughs> yeah. Summon yeah. The Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Judgment. Okay. Who's I've this done guy? nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Wait, is this? Who's Lord this? Lord Ethan. Miss. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed. We all fucking know it. We all fucking Quiet, know it. Thief. Eric oh my God. Was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Really? Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roylan said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> you what do you keep hitting him? Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. The men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Fuck. I don't know what to do. I will decide. Fuck me. Okay. Um. Take his fingers. He's a thief. All right. Mm. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It would be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. Take three my fingers. Send him to the me. wall. Fuck. I don't know. I feel like I. F I also. I feel like like cutting off three of his fingers is too much. Sending him to the wall is like sending him to hell. And letting him go, I don't know what. It, how do we know he's telling the truth? How do we know what's true? You know, how do we know if we if we let him go, he's gonna do the same. He's gonna like kill somebody. Oh, I don't know. This is, oh my fucking god. Okay, since he was saying he was defending whatever was his and shit like that, I'm gonna go sh sh show mercy. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan. You are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He's also a father trying to help his children after we failed him. I cannot punish a man for our negligence. You're rewarding a man who has no loyalty. Or See what honor. I mean? My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you. And to this house. Fuck. Everyone's pissed off at me now. Fuck. Are you... F I don't know. I didn't know. I, I, I feel that like... Choice. certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. Maester. What do you think? Oh, fuck me? Don't. Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. 
They both want the job, but neither thing's very... Okay, I'm still fucking, my head's still wrapped, I'm still wrapping my head around, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right choice? Highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. All right. Here, the bracer of the sentinel, the badge of office. Okay. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. I hope so, because I don't know. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. The pe the, I don't. I don't know if a lot of people pick Mercy. I mean, I felt bad for the guy too. So it's like, let me know what you guys would. Let me know what you guys would have done because I don't know. What's up, kid? What's up? Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. Nice. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? I'm honored. You made your brother happy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not okay. like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. Oh, People fuck. who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. <laughs> right. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to this guy over here. Girl, Mister. basically, or guy, Mister. I don't fucking know. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives of those you love. How much do we have? How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Into the tower? I fuck up. Okay, I just I, I thought I just went to the the next scene or something like that. All right, so that's just gonna get overlook of that whole area. So what? So this is just food. I wish I can run or something like that, you know. Come on, you dogs. You'll not what? be fighting here forever. Talk to Duncan. Let's go talk to him. What does he want? What do you think? What does he have to say? You know? Okay. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. 
and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Ask him about Sentinel. Let him return. As Lord, I must name a Sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the Sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Royland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Slash right! That means now! Okay. Can't, we can't talk to her. Let's talk to this guy. Welcome. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. And first light. Wait, Uncle. You can't leave. We need you here. Especially now. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with her, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. Okay. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Oh, more decisions. More tough fucking decisions, are you kidding me? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? Did she? knew we could rely on Mira. <laughs> she always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. Me? I saw what you did to that man. Oh, fuck. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Are we... Ethan, please, tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Fuck. Well, guys, I have to make a tough fucking decision. Who do I choose? Sir Royalin or Duncan? Fuck. Give... Uh, fuck. So basically, it's Duncan or fucking Zod. Because that looks just like Zod. Uh, from Man of Steel. Um. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you say? I don't... Fuck. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Oh, uh, well. Swords off, you can lift them, yeah? I don't 
fucking oh my god. But he's smart, so he knows what to do. And then he's he just shows discipline, which I mean I can do the discipline, oh, yeah. Say, Pari, so I'm gonna give it to him. Out. My uh, isn't it, isn't Duncan my uncle or something like that? I'm gonna give it to him. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Why are they keep why are they keep giving me more fucking choices? Just take the shit and don't complain. Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengrin to do it at once. Now that that one's gonna be pissed off at me for making the wrong choice. It's always something. There's always something that's gonna be fucking. People are gonna be. Oh, you picked that guy. No, you picked that guy. You suck it. You suck. You uh, like. God damn. Just my let lord, me be. Are you now ready <laughs> to name your sentinel? Oh my gosh. Yes, yes I am. Mister. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Duncan's oh, Dun oh, Duncan or who did I pick? Yeah, Duncan. Okay. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. I know, I'm not stupid. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. I would stop it here, but I keep I, I know you guys want me to play this. No, they don't. But uh but like I don't know who to pick. Like I mm, motherfucker. I mean, Sir Royland looks like more like a sentinel like type, but then I don't want someone that's has like issues. So I'm gonna pick Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Better not. This no. is a hard to fucking decision. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Yeah. No, Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Ooh, I like it. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms. But the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed Shut man. Shut the fuck up! Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. 
I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. Yeah. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will bargain. Fuck, I don't know. We will bargain, but we will fight. Because the other one just seems too fucking stupid. Uh, Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood. And we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, God and damn he it. will respect We're his decision. We're all gonna decision. die. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord. Making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? Yeah, that seems more... I will make Ramsay wait at the gates. No, I will, I will invite Ramsay into the Great Hall. Wait. Wait, what? I will make Ramsey wait at the gates. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Get out. Yeah, bitch, get the fuck You'll out. Regret that, my lord. Fuck you, dumbass. <laughs> oh, that's Apologies, so good. my son. I had expected better of him, but now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the Wait. house. Wait. Meeting at the gate is not, like, in a private area, right? Because I picked the private area. I wanted to pick the private area, at least. Because inviting him in to the, to the Great Hall, like... That, I thought that was the actual area where they where they're all walking around and shit like that. I thought if you wait outside the gate, I go out the gate, close the gate, and do you know do my business there, and then come back in. I thought that was I don't know what the fuck they mean, but okay. Ah, oh, my God, dude. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. You're forg you're forgiven. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. 
But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Bad cop, good cop, or such a... Well, yeah, you get the point. Good cop, bad cop. I'm the good cop, Ash is the bad cop. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay, can this game fucking <laughs> stop giving me difficult decisions? I, My brain is like twirling here um you gotta listen to your mom right so then then again isn't he too dangerous but then they're gonna turn him into the lord they aren't they fuck it fine malcolm will go to essos and bring asher back thank you ethan I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. I'm a lord, Mira bitch. stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I'm a lord. Not a forester. I'm a forest lord, okay? Bitch. Okay, um, pick up. Big seal, return, what? What, I don't even know what I just did there. Pick up key. I guess, take key? I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king, I thought you'd want to know. Did I just fucking steal something Thank that you. I wasn't supposed to? Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just... Sorry. No, I will be here for you. I had to do heaven. something. I had to, like, upload a video right there, so... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I All must right. send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady.
Oh, she's using the key. No? Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I just want you to know I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, Milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. That's true. I, I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Okay. He seems, he seems like a cool guy. Hold on. Sorry. My grandma was calling me. Gotta answer it for her, right? What are you looking at, ho? What are you looking at? Yeah, walk away. Alright. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to end it right there. So hopefully you guys like it. If you guys like it, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe. And well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.